In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best route combinations out of the tight slots in Madden 23. This is out of the Bengals playbook. If you want to get my entire uh, Bengals tight slots halfback ebook, make sure that you become a Patreon member today. It's only 10 bucks uh, to do so. And the link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description. You can become a Patreon member, like I said, by joining uh, by clicking the link down below. All right, guys, so the play we're taking a look at today is post will drag. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite plays. It's really the reason why um, you want to be in the Bengals playbook if you're running tight slots. There's a lot of setups that are really good uh, out of this, but I'm going to show you why uh, it's so good. And really, it's because of this route right here to Carmichael. Now, um, if we motion this route out, outside this is basically the deep attack route in gun bunch now that being said if you just watch i'm going to block my running back and we're just going to do a basic you know three-man route combination what you'll notice here in that route is if i just wait and kind of watch how this plays he's going to stop about the numbers if he's outside as you saw right there however the beauty of this being a compressed um a compression route combo is from compression what you'll notice is he will basically run and he will actually make it all the way over to the sideline. So he can serve as something that is a really good route uh, to the right side of the field. The other thing is that route specifically, if you look at the if you look at the spacing, this specific route from post will drag, um, I can throw this and it can get over the top of a 30 yard cloud flat. OK, so it's going to beat man. It's going to get over top of 30 yard cloud flat, which means they have to the opponent that is has to use her the route. OK, you have to use the route. So um, this is my personal favorite setup right now out of tight slots um, to pretty much beat anything. Uh, this is a really, really good route combo and we're able to block six. So what I just do is I'm going to block the tight end. If they're in dollar and you want to block the running back you, and you want to block the running back, be my guest. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but basically what we're going to do here is we are going to take the running back. You can put him on any route that you want. It, it really, whatever route you want, a simple out route is fine. Um, and then we're going to slant Cromarty and we're going to streak Eric Berry. And we're just going to motion this guy across the field and basically snap the ball just before he sets. It's going to create a little motion slant concept. And now you have a really good man beater over the middle of the field. Um, this route combo specifically is really difficult to user because the user is basically caught in no man's land. If he goes and let's say he defends, um, you know, the, the deep route, then you're going to be able to throw your underneath route. Now, the reason that I like to uh, block the tight end, especially against 3-3-5 wide, is because if I'm playing 3-3-5 wide, you see the tight end is going to pick up the pressure. The running back is really more of like a situational snap read uh, and really designed to just simply pull out the flat zones. If they are playing you in man-to-man, -man, then, you know, feel free to hit the running back. But if they're dropping, they start to drop zones uh, over on that sideline or whatever, maybe you're playing dollar and they're running a little more zone, then what you're going to be able to do out of this is that running back is going to pull the zone out of the way. And then your motion slant is going to have all this room to work over the middle of the field and essentially come across the middle uh, really, really well. OK, now the reason that this is such a good route combo specifically for zone um, and, and you can kind of you can either fade or streak Barry, but I like to streak him. But the reason this is such a good combo for zone is because we're going to high-low our opponent in the middle of the field, one of my favorite uh, strategies. So essentially the zones are going to suck up that clear-out route, and you can throw this right in here. And the beauty of that is they can't really KO you. You're not going to get a deep route, not deep zone knockout. You're not going to get a, you know, they're not going to be able to do that. So if you think about it, they're going to have to use her the post. Um, they're going to have to use her the post. The other thing is when you motion this into a three by one, this is almost like a cluster. When you motion this into a three by one set, the beauty of this is now I can throw this in the seam. So now we're threatening them in the seam and we're threatening them um, just in terms of over the middle. So now what they have to do is they have to bring these guys down. They may have to make some specific adjustments in terms of zones, right? But there's some things that they start to have to do to stop this, this high low in the middle of the field. If you want to drag the tight end and do it like this, this is fine as well. This is another variation of it. Um, and what's good about this is a lot of times that drag will pull the zones to him and then they'll leave that little open pocket for that um, that route to uh, Cromartie or the slot receiver coming over the middle of the field. So really effective. Now, uh, that was cover four. Cover four, I think, is the hardest to beat, to be honest. Um, the easiest to beat is cover three and cover two. So 
What you'll see with cover three here is again the streak is going to clear out the zones. Now this is way more. I mean it's just it's just open all all the way over the middle as well as to the sideline. They have to use her that route for a significant amount of time. Now uh, if you wanted to mix this up a little bit, um, I will show you a mix up play call. So let's say um, this is actually pretty common. So you know let's say you're getting you know a little double Mabel double flat style of concept and they're going to use her in the middle of the field okay but they're they're basically doing something some variation like this right here and then they're going to use her uh the whatever route they need to in the middle of the field which is going to be this post route okay what we can do with this play um this is another variation like i said uh but what we can do with this play is essentially we're going to uh take cromarty and put him on a hitch we're going to block our running back. And then now with the tight end, you can run the tight end on, you know, some type of flat route or, or, I mean, you could even do it. You could, I mean, there's a lot of variations, but you know, you could do something like this. And now if they're, if they're running a lot of double flat, it's almost impossible to defend this play. So you'll see right here, tight end takes the flat routes out. And this is just going to be, I mean, just easy, easy, easy reads. Now, again, you could still do the same thing um, and still kind of accomplish the same basic principle uh, if they have a slant route. And then I'll show you one other thing if you don't want to motion. So, you know, let's say you're watching this, and you're like, I don't really want to motion. Maybe they're doing something like this to stop the running back streak that a lot of people like to go to, you know, and they give you a coverage like this. And again, their user has to go uh, deep. What you can do is you can do something like this right here where we're going to utilize a hitch and a table route to kind of create that same basic concept and they have to drift to the post and you can just throw the table route underneath guys this is a very very versatile passing concept out of tight slots halfback week it's one of my personal favorites because there's so much pass protection on the field and it's just it's really really difficult to use her um it's really really difficult to use her this because you know you have to get you have to go deep but if you if you go deep then i'm going to throw short and the other piece of this is you can have two different pass protection systems depending on what you want to do and it doesn't matter how deep of a uh, cloud flat they have they can't get there and that route is going to clear out a lot of space so this is a great route combo if you want to get my entire tight slots halfback off, uh, week offensive ebook head down to the description and go join the patreon ten dollars will get you access to everything over there all of our ebooks all of our updates anything new that we release everything's over there for just 10 bucks thanks for watching be sure to check out the patreon